Well, hello there. This is I am Mark Three, and welcome back to my factory building, vaguely efficient attempts on Factoria. Battery production is going quite well, as you can see. So I've just upgraded to a blue inserter to store some more. I've completed the research, completed by accident. Oh, that needs blue and blue tech. Yeah, I might as well get access to uh, collectors so I can start collecting some of that loose stuff lying around my base. Um, in the few minutes since. I was last recording. I have uh, rerouted the uh, lines here slightly so that I have uh, all three of these advanced circuits can go into this particular robo port, hopefully speeding up a little bit. But I've already got three built and ready, which it would be fine if I actually had access to, you know, the robots to use in them, which I do not. I'm just kind of wondering where all my plastic is because I'm not getting very much of it. Oh. Because I'm not getting much petroleum gas. I see. And I'm not getting much petroleum gas because... It's, it's purely because of inefficient, constru inefficient construction. <laughs> no, production more than anything else. Yeah, it's not an efficient construction. My construction is inefficient as it always is. So, you know, no point in maligning that because it's already known to be a causing factor. Plus, I've also plugged in the entire battery assembly line, which is making hydrochloric acid, which is also draining the uh, resources straight from my petroleum reserves. It's not going so great. But yeah, look, look at this. 200 per stack. 5, 10... Yeah, this will hold 2,000 batteries. That's a lot. <laughs> More than I'll ever need for a lot of things, really. Anyway, I'm going to continue this time around with building, building, and building more stuff. So, you know, all that lovely... I need advanced circuits for construction blueprints and things. I don't have the robots for that yet. Anyway, immediate goal. Get robots. What do I need for robots? I assume I need electric engines. At least I think that's what I need, as soon as I find them. Where are they? Here we go. To make construction robots. I also need to make logistic robot, by the way, so I will do that as well. Construction robot is flying robot frames, plus the different types of circuits. So I need electric engines and batteries. Now, to make an electric engine, I need a regular engine. And lubricants. Oh, I actually haven't... I haven't actually set up any production for lubricant, have I? No, I haven't. I think I need another stack of... Um, chemical plants, because lubricant is something I'm going to need in copious amounts before too long. Provided I ever actually get my technology upgraded. Don't worry, I will get my technology upgraded sooner or later. Just not right now. Put away those, put away those, put away the... No, I need the pipe, so I'm going to keep those out. Put away that, because I don't need that. Put away the yellow inserters, sorry, ye yellow conveyors, because I don't need those. Anyway, let's see. My chemical plant production section here has a ton of these lying around, so I'll take a stack. And lubricants... Oh, hello. I've lost a turret over here. I'm going to put one of those down right now. And I put it in the wrong place. There we go. Okay. That'll keep things going. Lubricant, I believe, is made from, yes, heavy oil. So I'm just going to flat out produce it up here. It's relatively straightforward, I think. Though I want to leave a gap there. One, two, one, one. So yeah, I'm just going to make it... Actually, I want to have these as processing sites for all of my fuel needs. So I'm going to have to actually run a heavy oil line all the way over here. It's just as well, I'll need lubricant down here, so I might as well build the lubricant production sites around here-ish. Let's make it here. Let's make it here, actually. This is where I'll make my lubricant for all of my lubricating needs. Go with a, a nice standard there. Five. I 
Didn't pick up any pipes. I'm a moron. I'm going to need some. Oh, some are, some are actually slipping past. Oh. Okay, I need to put some turrets up here, it seems. I never actually did finish fortifying this section, did I? And I've got the conveyor in the wrong place as well. Even better. I can't actually put it there. No, I can't put it there, actually. So, mm. so that's going to have to be like that. Okay, there's no way around it. What's blown up? An inserter. Oh, east side. Not a trouble with there for a while, have I? Looks okay. Kinda. Hmm. Though that'll start collapsing sooner rather than later, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm just going to get this same tire section fortified. Whoa. Hello. So what are those red ones? Anyway, medium biters. Okay, I figured they were something medium related. But I wasn't sure what. I'm just going to let the guns deal with this. Yeah, and suddenly everyone dies. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. I wish there was a way to just um, let things go back onto your hotbar when you don't want them. If there is, I've not figured it out yet, and I kind of want to. Because that will probably make things a bit easier for me, overall. Actually, if I press... Oh! If I press Q... Then... Or is it... Is it, is it no, it's not he. Q. If I press Q, it goes straight back onto the hotbar where it was. Excellent. That's good to know. I'll take full advantage of that in the future. But first I'm just going to quickly lay down this frigging wall, like so. Yeah, that'll do it. And like a moron, I'm not entirely sure how long I've been recording. <laughs> this'll, this episode will be either a bit short or a bit long, and I do not know which. Uh, wait a sec. Last one, 45. Five. Recording at 10. Okay, I'm only seven minutes in, so I'm less than halfway through. Right. It is good to keep track of these things, and I am trying to maintain a professional and refined mode of behaviour. Which is not really working, as you can probably tell. Okay, that should hold that bit up quite nicely. Um, let's see. Batteries are still going very strong. Right, what I wanted to do was engines. So let's get some engine production. I'm going to need these for the tanks and trains and things, which I, I'm going to be needing quite soon as well. So, to make an engine, let's see. Where are they? Here we go. Engines. Pipes. Gears. Steel. What's blown up now? Another inserter over there. Inserters are proving to be the weak link. And without the inserters, the turrets just kind of die as well. So there is that. Um, actually, I need to reroute this entire section a little bit. Because that's not working quite right. I don't need green inserters out there, so no point in those. Right, this is the plastic line. I'm not producing enough plastic by a long shot. Oops, nope, I didn't mean to mi mix the lines there. I crossed the streams! I crossed the streams! Ghostbuster re reference. There we go. That gets that out of the way. Then I can get this out of the way. Move this convoluted tunnel over one. Whoops. Again, I crossed the streams. Okay, I can start collecting alien artifacts on automatic. That is good. Stop carrying me, stupid... Ah, there we go. Right. Just get the tunnel here. Like that. No, I didn't want that. I wanted that. And another tunnel next to it because the entire point of all this was to actually split off a line of steel. Which was <coughs> Excuse me. Because the steel was not being separated before. So there we go. I have full sets of resources. Yay. Now, what's happening to my plastic? Again, it is a severe lack of petroleum gas. So, as a stopgap, I'm going to unplug my sulfur production. Like that. And that will let these things actually start making things better. Uh, hang on. 
Why is that saying electricity? What's my grid like? Not so good. Right, that's good to know. My grid is overloading again. Well, I have just plugged a whole load of chemical plants and things into it, so it's kind of understandable, really. And I was doing this before I got sidetracked. <laughs> I got sidetracked again. Wow. Okay, you guys are making lubricant. Which means you just need heavy oil to come in at the back. Like so. I'll put your storage tanks up front, like so. Yep, like that. Then I've got to plug you all in, like that. And plug you all in for heavy oil as well, like that. Yeah, that looks okay. And then I'm going to use my tunnels to just get get the entire thing done as far as I can without actually requiring stuff on the surface. Because that's the that's the big problem with pipes. Unlike conveyors, they block movement, so it's better to tunnel where you can. Yeah, let, let's route it. One, two, one. On there. Let's route it up here, actually, so it better avoids where I want to build in the future. While still leaving that all-important gap for more defences in the defensive line. If need be, I can always relay some of this piping later. But I, I do want to avoid having to fiddle with things as much as I can. There we go. Start giving me heavy oil coming through for lubricant production. Yeah, that's working. That's going just fine. Though it's also needed for some of the engines and things as well, so, you know, gotta have it. Just need a power source now. What's blown up now? Another inserter. Yeah, the, the toxic clouds are kind of killing my inserters pretty badly. And I just put them there, so those are powered, and I should now be getting some lovely, slippery lubricant flowing into my storage tanks. Yep, that's going fine. Right, engines. I've got five minutes left to try and build an engine. Hmm. This is going to go well. Engines. Right. I didn't mean to build that. Stop building that. Thank you. Engines are components. I just need steel and iron to make the first ones. So, yep, that's fine. Actually, I'll just put a splitter in here like that. <laughs> Lost turrets. That was one that ran out... Lost an insert. Uh, what's going on over there? I'm getting hit by stuff. At multiple points along my perimeter, it looks like. Hmm. I can't get uh, more advanced stuff soon enough. Anyway, let's get some tech going. I've got a few minutes left to build an engine. <laughs> this is going well. And I'm trying to put down an air filter. That's going even better. I'm not carrying any... F I'm not carrying any factories. I've run out of factories. Yeah, uh, let's dump a little bit of excess coal in here, just so uh, I don't have to carry it. Like that. Give me a stack of engines. Sorry, a stack of engines? A stack of factories. I need factories, so that's what that's going to be. A whole load of factory, factory, factories. Oh yeah, look at that. I've, I've got tons of plastic now that I've stopped making batteries. <laughs> and I have over a thousand over 1,500, nearly 1,600 batteries in stock, so, you know. It's not like I need more right now. Okay, I'm just going to plant that there. Right, this will be where I produce the engines. Because this requires steel plate. Then I require some iron, which is going to come um, from here. Like that. I'll just duck this steel line under using a tunnel here so that'll let that steel line go straight past it without any kind of issue like so yep that's just fine plug in a couple of blue inserters help I put them in the right way wouldn't it yes and unload there actually mm. actually I need to do something about that because Th those will be unloading to the same side, and it requires different quantities of both. So, I'm going to have to do a switchback. I'm just going to put one there, one there. 
This inserter will plant on the right side of this line. That inserter will plant like that, and that will turn around, and that will put stuff on both sides. More stuff is blowing up quite badly. Hmm. I need, I need these robots. I really do. So, blue inserter there will load. Blue inserter there will load. This place will produce engines. This place will produce the pipes. This place will produce the cogs. So I can find them. There we go, cogs. Right. That's all That's all the resources required for that. It'll produce them. What's blown up now? Another turret. <laughs> this is going well. Power, power, power. Okay. As you can see, the cogs are being placed on that far side as well, but they're doubling back, so it's coming down on the left side of this belt. And this thing will slowly make me engines. Excellent. Now, next order of business. Electric engines. They require... As soon as I find them. Here we go. Lubricant and electronic circuits plus a regular engine. Lubricant means it's going to need a pipe connection. So I'm just going to pop them on there. Like that. Yeah, let's do it like that. And I'm going to have a blue... In, no. I'm going to do like I did with the um, inserter line, actually. I'm going to have a, an intermediate storage chest where it's going to keep the intermediate product, in this case a regular engine, and that's where it's going to store it. Like that. And that will build up some while I get the rest of this sorted out, and I'll limit it to two stacks, same as usual. Now then, this one will make the electric engines, and it will need circuits. Pretty simple fix. It's just copper and iron. So again, this is just a case of uh, two factories like that. As soon as the thing stops trying to mess me around. What's blown up now? Um, I'm not entirely sure what blew up there, but I'm going to have to double check my walls again pretty soon. And I, But right now I'm kind of running for time. So that's... Yeah. Uh, stuff. Blargle. Explaining stuff. That's going to be the circuits. That's going to be copper plate. That's all good. Blue, blue. Load. I'm actually going to load that one there. Yep, that's fine. I need to peel off a couple more lines. One for each. Oh, tech. Give me laser shooting speed. I don't have laser turrets, but I am upgrading them to hell. Just to be ready. Yep, there we go. Peeled off the resource lines that I require. Now, copper will just feed into this one because that's all it needs. Iron will feed down to this one because that's needed to complete the circuits. Power it all up. And this thing will make for me lovely electric engines. And again, there's going to be an intermediate chest like that. Just to keep it stocked up. Though actually, I need to connect to the... Um, let me rotate that to get the intake for the oil to be down there. Oil? I'm not putting oil into this. I'm putting lubricant into this. Okay. Oh, I've actually run out of pipes. I, need I forgot to get any. <laughs> I'm surprised I actually lasted this long without getting any, to be perfectly honest. But connect to that. There we go. This thing now has lubricant, or it should. Oh, I forgot the corner. Yes, of course. I forgot something. There we go. <laughs> right. That has lubricants. That has circuits. That is now making electric engines. Unfortunately, that is as far as I'm going to go in this particular video, because I have uh, run out of time, but I've, I've got engines being produced now. I've got uh, electric engines being produced now. Actually, they take them at the same amount of time, don't they? Yes, they do. Hmm. Can I make... Um, did I unlock... Um, no, I haven't actually unlocked speed modules yet. Because I want to, this to make slightly more than this. Right now it's going to just store two, but I'm going to need more than that. So that's something to do next time. This video has run for nearly 25 minutes. So yes, extra long video for the win. <laughs> but that is all for now. This is... Oh, well, yeah. They're starting to go here now, aren't they? Because there's turrets. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed watching me bumbling around my factory again. Uh, this is Iron Mark III. 
if you like this stuff feel free to like comment and subscribe to see if um, my channel ha still has any kind of life left in it i think it does i'm certainly not giving up on it but you know it's nice to have reassurance and companionship and that kind of stuff because i, I am just a lonely lonely soul thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time for more factorium see you later <laughs>